What what was did you talk to DJ? What was your did you talk to him before the process at all or as he went through? I did. Um, just checked in on him. You know, that was my guy, you know. I missed him so and then it just just so happened after the draft I talked to him again, so I'm glad that it all played out well. Did you talk too much last year about your experiences here, what you liked it, whatever? Did you talk to, like, did you converse during the season or just kind of re-catch up as it got closer to the um, During the off-season, I did a little bit, not during the season. Yeah. Um, but just wanted to give them a heads up, you know, just going to, to the NFL. Um, just kind of expect, you know. You know, I mean, I just told them my experience. and. Um, yeah, so it wasn't anything crazy or anything like that, but um, I'm excited, you know, that he's back on the. On the so spot. give us the scouting report. What's the scouting report on him? Um, sure, y'all obviously know. I mean, he's fast. I mean, quick guy. Um, definitely great football player, dog. Um, so I'm excited that he's in the secondary. Did you have an idea that they were interested in him? Uh, I did. Um, a few coaches asked me about him throughout the process, and. I kind of put two and two together. I was watching the draft as well. He wasn't off the board, so I kind of put two and two together and I kind of made um, my assumptions and my assumptions were, were true. So <laughs> I'm glad that it that it played out. You more than anybody else that knows mm -hmm. how he can fit in mm -hmm. in the secondary and, and play alongside him. Why is he going to be a good fit in the secondary? Um, just the type of football player he is. I mean, it doesn't matter what atmosphere he's in, what defense he's in. I mean, obviously at Michigan, we're in so many type of defenses. So I feel like he, he can adjust well to any type of role he's in or um, just playing a corner in, in the field. I feel like he'll adjust well. So. As the pick in the second round got close, did you start to worry and wonder if he would still be there? Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to be off the board a little bit earlier. Um, you know, just the season he had at Michigan. And, just the player he is. Um, I was surprised he was still there. So that, that just shows, you know, in the draft, you really don't know where you're slotted at, where you're going to be at. So uh, I'm glad he's just here, though. <laughs> we saw his 40 time at the combine. You referenced his speed. Do you have a story of first seeing, you know, him take off and go, holy cow, this guy's unbelievably fast? Uh, I mean, he was just always fast. Uh, you know, I would say I was always in front of him on Michigan a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but I don't know. Like, he was just always, you know, a fast guy. Like, you knew he was fast just the way he ran. And, uh, so you could just tell, like, from day one. So. Say that again. You guys have a defense with a lot of young, fast guys. What does that do with a defense where it just has so much explosive? Um, I mean... I feel like we're just unstoppable at that point. I mean, in the field, it kind of just takes speed. I mean, it's a mental aspect of it as well, but when you include speed with it, I mean, that just makes it all, you know, more and more fun, more and more excitement. Um, you know, guys going to the ball, I mean, you have no excuse to, you know, to run to the ball now. So um, that just makes it all, you know, more um, better to, you know, for, this, for the entire second day. What do we get? Uh, what, I'm sorry if this has been asked, but quick scout, quick scout report about him. Uh, I mean, smart, fast. Uh, you know, willing to do anything for the team. Uh, uh, humble player, so definitely going to be a good fit for the second day. Did you guys room together ever? Or? Uh, we were like close close proximity. We didn't ever room together, but uh, we all stayed in the same door. So. I didn't play. Uh, did I play against them? I think I did play against them. I'm trying to think. I think I did play against them. Uh, Big Ten Championship. I think, yeah. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around him. <laughs> I think he was. I, I remember him. He was definitely a good receiver. So. How helpful is it to both you and DJ to have played together and already have that mm -hmm. kind of understanding that secondary teammates have? Yeah, we actually were on the phone about it. It was kind of funny. Like, it was like it's just like old times. Like, we always look at each other and kind of just like, okay, we already know how we go play um, just, just based off, like, how we're aligned. And so, you know, we already had that chemistry built. And so I'm just looking forward to, you know, just keep building on that. Actually, look at guys that come in for the first three rounds of Jordan Battle. It's going to come in, and then obviously DJ, Miles. None of them are going to be asked to show up and be a starter. If there's somebody who just went through that, I mean, what is that? What is, is that helpful? Is there a comfort in that when you come in as a rookie and you don't feel the pressure to immediately have to play a starting major role? 
Um, I mean, I can't really speak for those guys. I mean, that's probably something they would love to do. Um, you know, but when they come in, I mean, I'm just telling them just, just to be themselves. I mean, don't really put too much pressure on yourself just because you're a high draft pick or you have all these expectations on you. Like, you know, it's just football at the end of the day. Um, and so I'm gonna just, you know, encourage them as best as I can. And then, you know, we all just go, you know, ball together. Maybe it even made it tougher then because you want to be the starter so bad. Did that, right. did that maybe drive you a little bit? Uh, I know who I am. I'm not really worried about anything. I'm gonna just come in and compete with you know everybody. So I'm just looking forward to toward the season. You mentioned DJ's intelligence, his smarts. You think he'll have any problem picking up everything? You you had to pick up the playbook <laughs> in like multiple different spots last year. You think he'll be able to hit the ground running? Uh, <laughs> hopefully he don't have to go through all that. But <laughs> <laughs> hopefully he can just stick to his corner position and yeah. you know excel in that position first. So I would encourage him and you know just to you know go about his you know his position and handle it in a professional way. Did you know anything about Jordan Battle since he was one of the better safeties in this draft? Uh, I knew about him actually. I was actually going to be his teammate at Alabama, ironically. Then I flipped to Michigan, so I knew about him a little bit. I didn't know too much about him, but I've heard um, good things about him. You know, Alabama is looking forward to what he can bring. How fast is his secondary? Hmm? How fast is his secondary? Pretty fast. I would say, like, I mean, I'm biased, but I feel like we're probably one of the fastest safety, uh, like, secondaries in the NFL, probably.